Merry Vlogmas Day. Eight. I was just saying 19. Hmm. Is it 18? 18. Yeah, yeah. We're starting off this day with cramps. <laughs> Oh my god. My stomach hurts so bad, but. I'm sorry, okay. Bubba. I know it will fix it. A donut. A donut. Okay. <laughs> and maybe a little coffee. Hey, yeah. Aw, oh, isn't my mom so festive? She's so cute. Are you still going? Yeah. Are you still rolling? Yeah, we're rolling this whole day. I'm just gonna follow you around. <laughs> this is so fun. We taking your car. Reality TV show. You driving or me driving? You first, madame. After you. You're driving? I'll drive. Okay. That should be exciting. Oh, it's so cold out. Oh, I know. Oh. So welcome to Vlogmas Day 18. I'm driving because I have so many clothes in my trunk that I'm going to donate. And we saw like a donation place yesterday by the mall. So we're going to bring them there. And, um... What was I gonna say? Oh, we're going to do more Christmas shopping today because Max got paid yesterday. Hey, <laughs> payday, baby. <laughs> and what else was I gonna say? Oh, oh I was get just. A tree. Oh, we're also gonna get a tree because his mom needs a tree at her house. And also, I was gonna say how. There were so many questions on that vlog being like, wait, was he being serious about workers' comp? Or like, workers' comp, you guys are so funny. But no, that's like actually a thing because it is their job. And they like obviously get, I was gonna say get paid for their games. Well, they just get paid for for playing and like being on the team, I guess. But um, yeah, they actually can get workers' comp. And Max, I don't think in this situation can, which is so sad. Because he still got stitches, but since they're on the inside of his mouth, it doesn't count. Like if it was like outside and he was gonna have a scar or something, mm -hmm. you get workers comp. But I think workers comp covers like yeah. his medical bills. The only real medical bill was, I guess, urgent just care. getting them taken out at urgent care yesterday. But yeah, that's actually a thing, which is so weird to think about. But that's like really funny. Yeah. Okay, coffee and donut time. We back. Hey, what are you doing here? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Those are the donuts, everyone. The best donuts ever. Guys, this donut, it's different. <laughs> Today I got a little one with almond milk because I couldn't even finish mine yesterday. And I'm just gonna add a little cinnamon. Max doing his regular. Guys, this place is very like Cape Coddy. Is there more than one paper store, Max? Oh. <laughs> I feel like there's a lot of Cape Cod stuff in here. I have to gotten any presents in here before because he's looking for one for Lucy, so. Oh, you might find her something in here. Oh my gosh, you guys, I have these exact ones. I ordered them ooh, uh -oh. <laughs> for myself for Christmas last year. I think they're my present to myself and I love them. And then these I was telling you guys about in a vlog recently. If you remember, look, I grabbed this elephant one. Um, I have this like lavender spray from CVS. It smells so good. And I was like, it smells like those lavender animals. And that's what these are that you like put in the microwave. They smell so good. No luck. We're feeling overwhelmed. <laughs> I think we're just gonna go back to the mall, people. I told Max he can't go wrong with like Christmas candles or like stuff like that from Bath and Body Works for my mom. And Lucy, maybe like a Cape Cod sweatshirt. I hope they're not watching. So confused, you guys. We ran into Macy's and I'm like, where's all the woman stuff? And Max is like, oh, we have to go to the other one. I'm like, there's another Macy's in the mall. And he was like, yeah. Um, the other one is the women's one. Yeah, that's where all the makeup is. Yeah, I was like, I'll where are all the off. perfume counters and makeup and yeah. stuff like that? What? I've never heard of that where it's separated into two. I guess, have you been to the Lululemon Soho? They have Lululemon men and then the Lululemon women. And they're like separated. Weird. Weird, weird, weird. And then Christmas tree on our way home. Sure. Oh, and we need wrapping paper. Bath and Body Works is picked over you guys. All the candles have been like, sold out forever but we may do don't worry guys i'm freaking out this is where i was like where's the rest of the macy's like all the perfume and stuff and here it is <laughs> got our gift wrap i picked out the penguins one max picked out it's all these animals riding on a polar bear it's us mm -hmm. <laughs> hello big news everyone mm -hmm. plans have changed significantly <laughs> and we are speeding to the airport right now um 
just turn on the light so that you could see us. <laughs> Why don't you tell us your big news? Um, you all cleaned yeah. up and ready. We're heading to Logan because I just got called up to the Lehigh Valley Phantoms. <laughs> so, I'm gonna go there for the weekend and play and do my best, do my thing. Yeah, yeah. guys, I'm so excited. Wait, so this will probably go live. Oh my gosh, it's only Wednesday. So if this goes up tomorrow, which is Thursday, then if any of you guys go to like the Lehigh games, well, I guess in this instance. So, Charlotte. Yeah, tell them where you get these. We'll be playing in Charlotte this weekend. So if you guys go to the Checkers, Checkers games, right. or if any of you were in Charlotte, go to his game and cheer for him. Because <laughs> he'll be there. Yeah, so do they have to make up a jersey that says Roman on the back? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> guys, this is crazy. This is absolutely crazy. So, selfishly, I'm sad because it cuts me <laughs> into my 10 uninterrupted days mm -hmm. that have now been interrupted. No, but I'm so excited because, yeah, like, mm -hmm. why wouldn't I be? This, yeah. is, the, this is ideal. Yeah. The dream. It's going to be so exciting. And you will be back Sunday. In case you wonder, or if you're worrying about me. <laughs> yeah, you think so. Yeah. I guess you could stay longer. No, I think that's your last game until after yeah. Christmas anyway. Mm -hmm. So what, would you say yeah, you're, right. you're still practicing or something? No, I'll be practicing. Yeah. Okay. Cross your fingers, everybody. And everybody, <coughs> manifest some goals mm -hmm. for this, for this dude. Um, what else do I have to say? Oh, if you were like, Gretchen, what about the Nutcracker? <laughs> <laughs> that you were talking about, if any of you cared or remembered. Well, <laughs> that is no longer with Max. <laughs> I swear, and if any of you saw my Reading vlogs in the Hamilton, um, just for better words, I should show. <laughs> it was just a mess because we're supposed to go to Hamilton. I like got the tickets way in advance, the whole thing. And then Max gonna go because he had like a hockey thing. And then now I was so excited to go to freaking Nutcracker on Friday with Max and got the reservation at Giacomo's, 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 however you say it. Um, Max won't be here. So, good news is Lucy flies in from Ireland that day, so I get to bring her now, which is gonna be really fun because. Has Lucy ever seen the Nutcracker? Maybe like once or twice? <laughs> and it's just gonna be so fun to spend time with her. So, um, even though I won't have Max, I'll have the next best thing. Mm -hmm. My twin sister, who I haven't seen in forever anyway. And you guys, just me getting tickets for plays or shows doesn't work out. <laughs> so, yeah, hockey plans always come in the way when I get these, these tickets. But that's okay. I'm gonna actually be back Sunday. We'll still go to Albany for Christmas. Just a little, a little detour mm -hmm. in our plan. And I feel really bad because your family got to see you for like a, a day and a half, yeah. two days. But this is so exciting. This is such an exciting time. Mm -hmm. Is there anything you want to say? No. Remember us when you're really famous one yeah. day, okay? I will. Don't forget. Don't forget about <laughs> So sudden, can I just say? Yeah. We got a text and a call from his agent, what, at 3.30 or something? Yeah. Now it's 6.15. I'm rushing the airport so we can make a flight back to, well, he's going to Lehigh tonight because that's the American League team. Oh, if they like don't know about hockey, it's like, you guys know he plays for the Reading Royals, but the team above is the Lehigh Valley Phantoms. And then the team above that is the Philadelphia Flyers. So. Yes, but if you live in Charlotte, go to his games this weekend. Mm -hmm. And I wish I could come, but now it's getting all confusing with like Lucy and Dara flying in, and then we're supposed to be with our mom, and then Max is going in my car, and we're trying to like figure it all out. So I feel like if I came to North Carolina, that would just be so confusing. Watch me go and surprise you, and I'm like at the games with the fat head. <laughs> You'd be like, I don't know who that is. <laughs> but um. Yeah, you guys better go and watch Bubby since I won't be there to watch Bubby. But we're really excited for him. 
and that's a big change of plans. I was saying how I was gonna go get all ready to go to family dinner tonight. Okay. No more family dinner. Your family dinner is gonna be your yeah. pre-made sandwich in the terminal yeah. <laughs> at the gate. That's gonna be your family dinner. Um, but plans change. Oh no, Friday before we went back from the Cape, we were gonna get Lucy and Dara yeah. a donut from Nirvana, and now they won't be able to try it. Well, they'll have to take our word for it. And I'm happy we got everyone's presents today. Good timing. Yeah. Thank God we weren't saving it for like tomorrow or something. Oh gosh. We didn't even pull down the seats all the way. We had to move our seats for. I know. I didn't have time. Yeah. <laughs> we literally had no time, you guys. I showered my hair is like in a wet, ratty mess. I put on a t-shirt, sweatpants, threw all my things in a bag, and we hopped in the car. So, yeah, I'm just gonna drop them off at the airport, and then I'll be back in Boston. Surprise! I remember I kept saying how worried I was that I wasn't gonna get to be able to go to Core Power or Soul Cycle. Mm -hmm. Well, now I can because I'll be back in Boston for the next couple of days, which was unexpected. But okay, any parting thoughts, Bobby? See you guys Sunday. Aww, we love you and we're so love proud you of you. And I, I probably sound extremely selfish. Like the first thing I did was like cry that we couldn't go to the Nutcracker. But I'm way more happy than sad. Like obviously I'm so excited for him. So with that, we love you and good luck. Thank you. And pucks on net. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Bye. Okay, wait, just throwing this in here at the end really quick. I was just editing through this footage and I just couldn't be more excited for Max. I worry that in the clips of us like rushing back to Boston last night that I just seemed kind of like frazzled because it just happened so quickly. Like we literally, all of our plans for the rest of the time in the Cape just had to get thrown to the side because Max was rushing to go catch his flight. So, um... I just wanted to say like how extremely proud of him that I am, how excited I am for him, and yeah, like don't think for a second that I am like, I don't know how to describe it. Like I just don't want to seem like selfish at all. Like I don't care. I've seen the Nutcracker with him before. We can always see it like in Albany maybe, and I'm going to go with Lucy, so I'm fine, and I just am so happy for him, and I was telling him like at one point, in the clip traveling home I say let's manifest some goals and we always kind of joke around saying that and I do think there is something to be said for putting like positive energy and thoughts into the universe especially in sports if you were like visualizing how like your 2k or test is gonna go if you're a rower or visualizing like scoring a goal or working do they have plays in hockey I don't even know <laughs> you know what I mean like with your team I feel like there's something to be said for that but at the same time I never want to like discount all the hard work he's put into it because he's like one of the hardest working people that I know and just so disciplined and yeah I just couldn't be more excited for him and I love you Max when you're watching this so I just wanted to say that quickly at the end and I don't know I just feel like when you love someone you just support them through anything I always would say that to him when he would talk to me about hockey sometimes or if you get frustrated or anything I'm like dude as long as you're I just am attracted to like passionate people whatever it is like I yeah I just want you to like follow your dreams and if it's not hockey and you're passionate about whatever chess reading what, like I'm so excited for you and I just want someone that's passionate about something so anyway not to go on this tangent I'm just really excited for him and so happy that he is like living out his dream like what little boy or girl growing up wanting to be an athlete in like the sport that they play actually makes it there and I'm just so excited for him so just wanted to save this at the end right now and I can't wait to watch his games in North Carolina on TV and yeah thank you guys for watching I'll see you in my next video